As you can see, I'm using a controller in Minecraft Java. I could head over over here and we could go to options. You can see that we're using mods. This is 100% Minecraft Java. And just so you can see, I'm not lying. If I look around, if I look up, I look down. This is our controller working in the game. And this is currently working in 2024. So I'm going to teach you how to get your controller working in Minecraft Java. And you could finally feel comfortable about playing Minecraft Java. Let's get started. Now, step number one to get your controller working with Minecraft Java is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to get a controller working in Java. Now, this is a very in-depth guide in here where we teach you how to download the controllable mod, which is the mod that you will need to make your controller work with Minecraft Java. Because since controllers are not native for Java, you're going to need to do some extra steps. You're going to need to add a mod in order to a controller to work with Java because the controllers are usually compatible with Bedrock, but not Java. In this guide, we also have a list of some controllers that are compatible with Minecraft Java as well as this little section here where we teach you how to add compatibility for controllers on Windows 10 or 11. The reason we have this section in here is because many of you might have issues after you install the mods and you might be thinking that you installed the mods incorrectly or that your mods are not working or your mod loader and it has nothing to do with that sometimes. It's just that your controller is not working properly with your computer. So in here, we explain to you how to add compatibility for controllers on Windows 10 or 11. Now, once you are here in the guide, you again, feel free to read through it. We even have an index in here, but all you have to do really to download the mod is to scroll down and click where it says download. That will redirect you over here where you can see it says controller or forge. However, there is a Fabric version. If you're trying to run the controllable mod in Fabric, all you have to do is click where it says search for Minecraft mods, type controllable, and instead of clicking on the Forge section, just click on the Fabric one. In this guide, we're gonna be downloading the Forge one. However, every other step is the same way for Fabric and Forge. So you could still follow along this guide, even if you're going to download the Fabric version. Once you're here, however, go ahead and scroll down and then find the version that you want for the mod. In this case, the most recent one is 1.20.1. So that's the one we're going to be using. However, in the future, you might have different versions in here. Just download the one you prefer. Just make sure to remember the version that you're downloading. In this case, it's 1.20.1. We're going to go ahead and click on the little three dots and then click download file, which will redirect you over here where after five seconds, your download should start. And I'm going to make my window a little bit smaller. In my case, it's asking me where to save the file for you. It's just going to download right away. Go ahead and grab that file that you just downloaded. You probably find it here on the little downloads area here in Chrome or in your downloads folder within your computer and then drag and drop that file into your desktop. Now we have controllable the mod, but in order for this mod to work, we're going to need a certain mod library. And you could even read that when you come here into our guide. Controllable won't work without the framework library. As you can see, you're going to need the framework library. Framework is actually required for a lot of Mr. Crayfish mod, and this mod is created by Mr. Crayfish, but we're going to need framework. And in order to download framework, just go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to this guide. In here, all you have to do is just scroll down and click where it says framework over here, this little purple button that will redirect you over here. And again, we're going to download the matching version. In this case, it's 1.20.1. .1. All you have to do is click on the little three dots and then click download file. Make sure you download the matching version for your controllable mod. So in the future, if you download a more recent version, you have to download the matching version of framework. In this case, after five seconds, we get the download. In my case, it's always going to ask me, but for you, it's going to download right away. And you could go ahead and drag and drop that file into your desktop. At this point, we already have controllable and the library that you need to run the mod. If you already have Forge installed, all you have to do is open the launcher, go to your Forge instance, open the little folder and drag and drop these files into your mods folder. If you already have Forge installed, I'm assuming you know how to add these mods into there. We have videos on the channel too and we have guides on the website on how to do that it's super simple however i'm assuming most of you watching this video don't have forge installed forge is a mod loader and these are mods so pretty much what forge does is that it loads the mods into the minecraft game and now i'm going to teach you how to download and install forge in case you don't have a mod loader but like i said if you already do all you have to do is drag and drop these mods into your mods folder and you're done anyways for those of you that don't have forge go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description which as you might imagine is our written guide on how to download and install forge this is an in-depth guide as well where you could read through the guide and look at the screenshots however if you're just trying to download forge real quick all you have to do is just scroll down click where it says download forge here that will redirect it to the forge website in here will be automatically put in the 1.20 version but if you remember properly we're looking for 1.20.1 .1. so what we're going to do now is click on 1.20.1 .1 right here menu right here and then you're going to click on installer once you see 1.20.1 .1 in here that redirect you over here where after five seconds again we're going to wait five seconds after five seconds a button label as a skip will appear on the top right just wait for the timer to go away and there we go go ahead and click on skip and that will start the download automatically once that file has been downloaded go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop just like we did with the previous files again you can find it here in your recent uh, download 
history or within your downloads folder in your computer. There we go. The file has finished downloading and now we're putting our desktop. Okay. So now we have the mods and we also have Forge. And the next step is to install Forge. But before you go ahead and install Forge, you have to make sure that you have closed your Minecraft launcher. Your Minecraft launcher needs to be completely closed on your computer. And once you make sure your launcher is closed, all you have to do is now double click it and launch it. If you have any issues while launching the Forge installer, that might be to a Java issue in your computer. Any jar file that you run on your computer is going to require you to have at least Java 17. So if you have any issues while launching the installer, that might be because you have an outdated Java or you don't have any Java at all. Like for example, I recently installed Windows 11 11, and I noticed that it doesn't come with any Java instance. So in order to install any mods, I first had to install Java 17. So I'm going to leave those guides in the description. And I say those guides because I'm also going to leave you the guide on how to run a jar fix. Like I said, these are jar files. So after you install Java, you're going to need to run a jar fix to link your jar files to your newest installation of Java and that you fix any issue that you might have while launching the Forge installer. So like I said, those guides are going to be in the description, Java and the jar fix. But if you didn't have any issues launching Forge, then all you have to do now is select install client and click OK and wait for Forge to install. Now, while Forge is installing, I want to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you want to create a server where you could use your controller, where you could have Forge installed for you, where you don't have to do anything but click a button, well, Apex Hosting is here for you, offering you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. They will create a server for you that is open 24 seven, either on Java or Bedrock. You can play with your friends without compromising your IP address, without compromising your computer or anything like that, because Apex Hosting host the server completely online and of course it has all the types of protections that you need it has customer service anything that you need really apex hosting will provide you with use the first link in the description for 25 percent off and let's keep going with the tutorial and if we come back to forge we see that forge has installed properly all you have to do now is click on ok and the forge installer will go away the menu and you could even delete the file to install forge now we have controllable forge the mod and the framework that's all that we have left What's next, you might ask? Just launch your Minecraft launcher, go ahead and open it. All you have to do now to add the mods is click on installations, find the Forge instance in here, click on this little folder right here, minimize the launcher on the back. And then in this folder that we get in here, we have a lot of other files and folders. You're looking for a specific folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, we have our mods folder here. In order to add the mods, all you have to do is drag and drop the mods into this folder. However, if you don't have that folder, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete mine, if you can't find the mods folder, all you have to do is right click, click new, click folder, and type MODS, type mods yourself, create the mods folder, then go ahead and open that folder and drag the files into there. That's in case you didn't have the folder. If you did have the folder when you came in here to the Minecraft folder in here, when you open it through the launcher, then just drag and drop the mods without creating the folder. Go ahead and close that folder again and go back into your Minecraft launcher. Now go ahead and click play on Forge and wait for Forge to open. It might ask you right here, it might prompt you with a sign saying, are you sure you want to launch mod in Minecraft, whatever. Just click that you are sure and then click play again and it will start loading. Now that the game has launched, we know that we're in Forge because it literally says Forge down here. And if we go over to the mods, we see that framework and controllable are right here. So hopefully when we launch our world, we should see our controller working. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new world just to make sure that the new world I created is on the version of Minecraft that I'm using, which is 1.20.1. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on creative. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world and I have my controller set up in here. I have it connected. I went ahead and turned on the camera here so you can see that our controller is working. If I press jump, if I move around, this is our controller working. Look, if I look up, if I look down to the right, to the left, I could jump. I could hit things just like if I was playing. But right now I'm in creative, so everything breaks in one block. Let's try flying, looking around. And as you can see, that's our controller working in Minecraft Java, which is pretty cool. And I hope you got yours working. And as always, bye bye.